Hi, I'm Artis Clemence Rosen. Welcome to the second day of uh, People's Heart at Home, a virtual exhibition that I make from home. Um, so today is a special uh, video because it's a Q&A. So the past few days uh, I've been receiving questions and today I'm going to answer them. So the first question was from uh, Jade. Jade asked me, how did I learn how to paint? So I uh, went back to my archive. I actually discovered some paintings that I completely forgot about. So I'd say back in uh, 2011, 2012, I started to try to learn by myself, trying to follow uh, books, um, drawings. So I find some old uh, paintings that I made back at the time on paper. Uh, that was very, very early on, so just trying from a book. Uh, then I went to probably in 2014, um, at the time I was living in the Netherlands, I went to a sip and paint uh, event in Amsterdam and I did my, I would say my first painting here, it was some pears, uh, my first painting on Canva. Uh, and I went back early on, uh, later on, and I did that painting. It was my first portrait. Uh, I never learned portrait before. Um, and then I, I left the Netherlands in the yeah, beginning of 2015. And I went back to France for two years. And I, so when I went back to France, I um, took some classes every Thursday with uh, Jocelyn Grimm, who is a, an artist in the east of France. And I did like, I find back my first painting with her. So that was this painting. And she was very good at um, making me confident that I could uh, paint. And uh, we didn't learn much of the technique such as color mixing or perspective or that kind of things but it was mostly to to get the paint on the canva and just paint and paint and, and enjoy yourself basically um so yeah so that was my first painting uh back in 2015 on canva uh, with like a, a, a real teacher i would say so then I'm in Ireland since end of 2016, so I wanted to learn um, the technique really. I, I knew I could put some paint on the canva, I just wanted to understand uh, color mixing, perspectives and, and saturation and all those kind of things that I had no idea whatsoever. So I took the class of uh, Roshino Farrell, who is an artist, um, she's from Bray, a very famous artist, look her up. And so I tried to find, I think the first exercise was uh, just a single apple, but I couldn't find <laughs> this apple. Uh, but I just, um, yesterday I went back to the framer because I, that was, I think, uh, the second painting that I did uh, with Roshino Farrell. And uh, last week I decided to frame it. It's called The Three Sisters. It's for my personal collection, so it's not for sale. Uh, yeah, so that was my second painting. So finally uh, learning about light and shadow and yeah, and since then I've been painting um, quite a lot as much as I can um, Because I also have a f another job. I'm not only an artist. I'm also a food engineer So I have a second job and that was actually one of the questions that um, that was asked by Lucy, so she asked me, how do I find time uh, to paint while having um, a full-time job? Uh, yeah, it can be quite challenging sometimes. Um, it's not really about finding the time, it's also about making the time that I have my, my priorities and art is one of them. I don't say it's very easy in the evening when I come back from work or in during the weekend. Uh, yeah, it's just if you really like something and uh, I think you just make the time for it. Another question was from uh, Marek. I hope I'm saying your name correctly. 
he asked me do you like summer or winter so i think <laughs> just by looking at my paintings we can obviously say that I kind of like summer a little bit more than winter and I do like to paint a uh, summery uh, landscape and seascapes. Uh, nothing against winter but it's just that I like uh, colourful and bright colours. It just makes me happy and I think it just brings joy to, um, to, a, to a home. And um, although I did uh, paint it a few wintery um, a seascape uh, last month that I'll be releasing soon. Um, it was just that they were um, bringing some emotion that I wanted to express at that moment. Uh, but most of my um, paintings are very colorful. And are, so I would say that at least 90% of my paintings are summery themes. Um, so yeah, Marek, I like um, summer better than winter. Also winter is cold. Um, Jen asked me um, about the paintings up there. Uh, she asked me what if I want to buy a frame. So as you can see so I have some of my paintings here and here already framed and the other ones don't have a frame. Um, so that's no problem if you want me to take care of the frame um, I can I can I can do it I usually advise that kind of frame white frame because it kind of go with um, every interiors so whatever you have at home if you're not sure um, if you're not sure if it will fit with the colors of the room a white frame is the best so if you want a different frame we can discuss uh that that's not a problem um nancy also asked how do i know it will fit my house so that's a very good question so what i have i'm going to show you something that i have on my website to help you see uh the painting if it can fit uh in your home you can visualize my painting directly on your wall uh, virtually so let's go to my website um, um, so for example here you have the page um, of not alone and if you scroll you can see not alone with a frame you can see not alone um, in an interior and you have a QR scan. If you scan it, it will uh, send you to um, an application called Visual uh, Art uh, Visualizer. But you, what you can also do if you on your phone, you can click here, visualize on your wall, and it will bring you to Art Visualizer. So the first step with the app is to uh, show it the floor and then it will ask you to put uh, to show the application where is the limit between the, the floor and the wall so that's uh, easy to do and then when you bring it up you see you see the painting I don't know if you see but you see the painting on your wall and if you're a little bit further like this virtually the painting just wait up <laughs> just appear on my wall you see uh, up you see the painting is not really there uh, but it's just virtually you can uh, see it on your own wall uh, and then you can have a better idea of how it's going to look on your old wall. So that was the question of Nancy, or how do I know it will fit my house? So it's very easy with this application, but also you can, we can have a video call, we can have a discussion uh, together, you can show me your space, and I can give you some advice. So yeah, something I didn't maybe was clear about the frame is that there's two options, either I ship it without the frame, or I ship it with a frame that I make. 
is um, my local framer. Usually it looks like this. Uh, if you don't want me to take care of the frame, if you want to take to do it locally, because it might be uh, cheaper for you to do it in your area um, than me shipping a frame painting, um, also more secure. Uh, we can still have a discussion, that's no problem. Uh, I can send you some ideas of what kind of frame could be the best in your space uh, with this painting. So that's, uh, that's no problem. I can, uh, I can uh, jump on a video call with you and we can discuss um, the painting and the frame together. That's all the questions for today. Don't hesitate to, if you have any more questions, don't hesitate to um, to ask me in the comments. Um, yeah, there's still a few, as you can see, there's still a few paintings available that are at really, really ridiculous low price. Uh, they will never be at this price again. Um, so don't hesitate. Um, I ship internationally also. And um, yeah, so there are this, price until midnight Irish time and then they will move to their original price. Thank you, have a good day, bye bye. So those are the paintings still available. So this one is Blossoming Sands. This one is Take the Opportunity. This one is Taking, the, taking a Break. This is Sound of Serenity. Time to Rest. Satisfy your tranquility. There is no obstacle. New eyes and a better life. And no pillow.